Hey guys, in this video here, I wanna show you a quick and easy way to apply a background image or a texture to some text in Adobe Photoshop. Now this right here is an example of what it's gonna end up looking like. This is pretty simple, and this also gives you the ability to maintain the texture and edit it independently from the text while still applying effects or whatever you want to the text itself. So let's go ahead and start. I have this image here of kind of like a grungy, dirty concrete wall or something, and I already named it text image here in my layers palette. So there's a few things we want to do. First, we want to make an empty layer. So create a new layer. And then on this layer, you want to fill it with a solid, whatever you want your background to be, because this wall color, this blue wall is going to be the texture or image that's overlaid onto your text. We'll just choose white for this, so I'm gonna hit D on my keyboard, which changes it to my default colors. Then we'll hold Command Delete on a Mac, which will fill the whole layer with a background color, which would also be Alt Backspace on a Windows machine, I believe. Now that we have the white background, let me just go ahead and drag this layer here, layer one all the way to the back, and I'll just rename it BG for background. Now, we wanna put some text on here, which is gonna be the text that we're gonna to use to overlay this image on. Let's just go ahead and write something. I'll write Photoshop, and you can't see it because the text layer is actually behind this text image layer. So let's drag this up here. Now we can see our text here, it says Photoshop. And I am using Impact because that is a nice bold font. It's a popular font, sometimes people overuse it, but it's still a nice font, it's nice and bold, so this will get the point across really easily. Now that we have this here, it says Photoshop, what we want to do is apply this blue wall to the text Photoshop. Now you guys are gonna really like this. This is very easy and really simple. So the easiest way to do it is to take your text image layer, which is your blue background here, and drag the layer above your Photoshop text. So now you can't see your Photoshop text. It's still there. It's behind, the, it's behind the wall. You can't see it, but it's there. So now here comes the magic, guys. You're gonna love this. Now what you guys wanna do is hold Option on a Mac and Alt on Windows machine, and then go over to your layer where it says Text Image, and drag down slowly to the line right between the text image layer and the Photoshop text. Drag slowly, and you can see what happens. When you get to the line there in the center, your icon changes to this weird little arrow with a box here. Now, this is pretty much gonna like auto mask your text to this image. So while still holding Alt, left click on your mouse and watch what happens. Bam, look at that. Your text is automatically masked to the text image that we chose, which is the blue background. That works great and all, but you guys wanna see something even better? Take your selection tool and while you have your text image selected, you could drag around your image in the background and get a better look on what you want while still maintaining the text. If you want to resize it a bit, you can resize it. You know, if you want to get it really grungy looking, look at that. I mean, and you can move it however you want. You're saying, oh, that's great and that's fine, but you know, I don't want to have my text have to stay dedicated right there. Oh, well, you know what? You don't have to. Look at this. Grab your Photoshop text and move it around. And look at that, it moves onto your background as well. You guys wanna see something else really cool? You can still apply your effects onto your text very easily. So let's open up our effects panel by double clicking to the right on the text layer that says Photoshop. And this will bring up your layer style palette. So just so we can see how our effects will still apply to this text, let's go ahead and add a stroke. Now it's a very thin stroke you can't see, so let's bump it up a bit. Oh, look at that. We still got our stroke on the outside of it. Now you would think that being this is acting like a mask, it would actually hide the stroke, but it doesn't. So you wanna try a few other things. You can put on an outer glow. Now, you can be able to see it. Let me change it to red. And increase the size here. Change it to normal. And look at that. We still have our effects are still available to us on this layer. Now you guys might be thinking, oh, you know, that's really cool and all, but what about my drop shadow? Does that still work, being it's kind of masked? Yeah, guess what? Your drop shadow will still work. So let me just bump this up here a bit, make our size a little bit bigger, and adjust the distance on it. And look at that, there's our drop shadow. We still have our drop shadow. So let's go ahead and close this out. 
and we have all our effects applied to the text still. And look, we can still click on it and drag it around and all the effects go with us. Now, of course, you're masking the text and is dragging on the background layer, so you would have to combine those two. That's pretty much it, guys. That's how to overlay an image or a background or a texture, or whatever you want, on text quite easily. And after you have that, you can adjust your background image or your texture image wherever you want it. To me, that looks pretty good. So if you want to keep that and not lose it and you're, you're happy with that and you don't plan on editing anymore, all you really have to do is select your text image and your text layer. Go up to layer and go merge layers and you'll merge those two together. So now, you see how it merged the two together? It's now given all your effects and everything is baked in here. So your glow, you're not going to be able to edit your glow anymore. You're going to be able to edit your background. Everything moves all as one. It's grouped as one big image. So let me go back out of there a bit, change that around. If you want to just put the text and apply some effects later, what I'm just going to do is go onto our text and right click and copy layer style, which is going to copy the stroke, the outer glow, and the drop shadow. And I'm just going to shut off the, all the effects by clicking this little eye right here where it says effects. Okay, and now it's back to normal. So now we can still move it wherever we want. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click the text layer and the text image layer. And I'm going to hit Command E, or I'm going to go up to Layer, Merge Layers. The merge layers will merge the layers that are selected together. So now I have that there, you can see that our background image is baked onto the text right there. So there's no more editing of that. However, we can still edit the effects from the layer style however we wanted to. So since I already copied them, I'm just going to right click, go down to Paste Layer Style, and bam, there's all our effects. So now we have our baked in text, but we can still adjust all our effects. Like if you go to Outer Glow, you can see we can still adjust all our effects independently. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this was helpful to you. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments section down below or send me a message. Thanks for watching.